Welcome into the Blitz on 2. He is Brandon. I'm Evan. And as the facial hair grows longer, you see what I'm talking about? The bracket gets smaller, at least in the skeezer ranks. Yeah, Porter Gow, First Baptist, another playing for a spot in the state titles. While some teams in South Carolina High School Football League playing their last regular season game of the year. That's right, yeah. A lot of the, of the bigger schools playing next week. That was the case for Berkeley playing Beaufort tonight for the region title. Timberland can also take home the 3A Region 7 crown. The Wolves 3-0 in the region playing 3-0 Manning. Wow, state title berths are on the line here in the skis and rings. Porter Gow, First Baptist, St. John's Christian, Holy Holly Hill, Cathedral Academy, and Collinson Prep. A lot of teams playing for a spot in college basketball season tipped off tonight. Highlights coming up next. But we start with our game of the week, Buford at Berkeley. Check out the crowd here. They're just uh, shirtless. And Fired up. And ready to go. Berkeley, of course, and Randy Robinson looking for his first title at the helm. Stags kick it off to the Eagles. Omar Cummings, he can't hold on to it. He fumbles it again, and the Stags will fall on, fall on it and take over. Berkeley on offense. Darius Douglas wasting no time. Rolls to his right. Looks like he's going to take off, but he decides to throw across his body to Renardo Fiel. Stags Woo. get six with that touchdown after a good drive. The Eagles would take over in the red zone. They would hand it off to Wyatt Serpinski, Putratsky and Putratsin for the touchdown. Serpinski with the Trotsky. Serpinski with the Trotsky. There you go. Burks back on offense, though. They will respond early. Douglas, he's done this all year. Looking to his left, finds a little window to Matthew Dress for six. He pushed off. The hands there. He pushed Stacks off. Are rolling on, rolling on this. 28-14. More from Berkeley. Damon Nafari on the handoff. He goes 35 yards. Somebody catch Totes it. it with a touchdown. The Stags take home the region championship 48 to 14 the final. On campus at Porter Gallup, the, uh, the Cyclones trying to do something they haven't done since 2002. Win a state championship on the football field. A win over Lawrence Manning would at least get them to the state championship game. The Cyclones, uh, whoa, whoa, how about this game? All right, we don't have scripts, but we can ad lib this. Oliver Michelle, he's great. Guess who else is great? The Burke Band, nine-year-old Christian hey, on the drums. Christian Murray. This kid's special, all right? Okay, so we pick it up. Porter Gowd with a 7-6 to six lead. It's the end of the first half. Oh. They are rolling down the field. There's Dance. Oliver Michaud picking up or, I guess, you know, syncing up with this receiver. But check it out. Oh. Almost throws the pick. That's how the half is going to end. It's 7-6. to six. So here we are in the second half, third quarter. Oliver Michaud. Oh, oh they Michaud got to going down right there. He gets sacked. And after a three and out by Lawrence Manning, Porter Gowd is going to have another shot. 25-yard run right here. It would not result in points. But the Cyclones are headed to the state championship. They pick up 14-6 win over Lawrence Manning. Christian, Christmas comes early. You can't beat that. 14-6. Cross taking on Bethune. Bowman head coach Sean Wright and the Trojans riding a two-game win streak into the playoffs. First quarter, Trojans in the red zone. Monte Shaw hands it off to Raekwon Smalls, muscles it in for a touchdown cross on top 6-0. They would convert to two. It would be 8-0 after a three and out. The Mohawks, uh, they can't hold on to the ball. Braxton Wedgworth uh, misses the ball on the punt. Rashad Mitchell there for the recovery. The Trojans, after a few plays, cross back into the red zone. Monte Shaw, the QB keeper. Shaw is in, pushes it in for 14 nothing lead there. 3 and 0 Timberland taking on 3 and 0 Manning. The winner takes home the region crown. We pick it up in the first quarter. A scoreless game, but the Wolves are driving the handoff to Roger Gibbs. Roger that. It's a touchdown. The Wolves take a 6 nothing lead. The extra point fate. The direct snap to Leonard Harmon. Perfect harmony. It's 8 to nothing Timberland on top. Back come the Lions though. Manning what a play right here. Jalen White drops back. Looks like oh, he's going to get go. caught, oh. but he doesn't. He avoids the sack and makes a ridiculous oh. throw to David Fulton, who turns his hips and makes the catch. Yeah, the ref says that. he was behind the line of scrimmage when he threw. Lions are in business. They're in the red zone, and it is the Zing. same duo, White to Fulton. Oh. For six points, man, even the defensive pass interference, not enough. This game was a tight one. Manning scored with no time left to make it 28-27, but they missed the extra point. Timberland takes home the 3A Region 7 wow. crown, 28-27, the final over Manning. Holly Hill taking on St. John's Christian in a basketball game. The score is 52-28 before the half. Cavs trying to close the gap late. 
In the second quarter, Mikey Smith using the footwork for the touchdown. Cuts the lead to 18. Few seconds remaining in the half. Raiders inside the 20. Nick Strickland has his eyes locked on Dylan Hill. He can't hold on. They go into the half still with Lee. In the third, though, Holly Hill comes up on defense. Dean Hensley recovers the fumble for the Cavs. And even Boy, not Evan, jumps on <laughs> the ball for the Raiders. He wishes. Yeah, <laughs> moving the ball. The Raiders handed to John Brown. What can Brown do for you? Lowers the shoulder in the end zone for six. They go on to uh, keep on scoring in that one. Yeah, I think no doubt about the outcome of that one. Trinity Burns at First Baptist. These two playing at North Charleston High School. Picked this game up right before the half. The field goal attempt by Trinity Burns. Just a tad short, but you see who has it. Thailand Major who takes off and along the way runs into almost everyone on the field before he scrambles oh, for the 100-yard he's, he's still going. Six. He's still going. He's I know. Still that's, going. that's a long time to run 100 yards. I wouldn't know. I have Jeez. never done it. Somebody get this kid seconds, some oxygen. 22-21 First Baptist. In the second half, Trinity moving when oh. Devontae Robinson stripped by none other than Tylen Major, who recovers the ball, sets up a nice little 17-yard run Dukes. by Michael Dukes. Dukes. He's pretty good. Next play, Dukes carrying again when Thomas Rogers comes in with the Dukes. Robo oh, arm. Oh, come on, it out. Dukes. Sets up oh. a short game by Jackson Watson, but nothing going. First Baptist puts the smackdown in the second half. They beat Trinity Burns 55 to 35 the final. Oh, that was an interesting uh, first block there, Evan. I swear, I need some water right now. We made it through it. We need yeah. some water. We need some oxygen, yeah. just like Tylen Major, but first Baptist getting it done. We've got more still, blitz coming up, right? Still plenty more to go, but guess what? We're going to the hardwood. That's right, yeah, season. Some college basketball. The Citadel and the College of Charleston squaring off downtown. Highlights from that game, but before we go to break, some sad news to pass along tonight. The Citadel family mourning the loss of one of their own assistant athletic director of facilities, Mike Groshan passed away. Groshan, well known within the walls of the Citadel. He took care of the Citadel Bulldog mascots as well. Groshan, a Charleston native and a Citadel graduate, lost his battle with leukemia. He was 63 years old.